guys, welcome back to Angie's Table. Today we're gonna be making a very summery noodle dish and it's called bibimbuksu in Korean and this is a spicier cold noodle. We enjoyed it a lot when we were younger in the summertime. It's just very refreshing and spicy at the same time. But we're gonna make it extra special and top it off with some chador, which is beef brisket. So let's go ahead and see what the ingredients are. So today we're going to be using this noodle and this is the noodle that goes into janchigupsu which is festival noodles. A long time ago people would eat festival noodles for weddings because it was the cheapest thing to feed a bunch of people. The noodle that goes into that is usually called sumyeon. So is small and this is chungmyeon, chung means medium. These are noodles that have medium thickness. So now we're gonna boil some water. This sauce tastes different the longer you let it sit in the refrigerator for. So it's gonna taste different on day one, and it's gonna taste different on day two, and day three, it just gets a little bit better and better, and that's because of the garlic. We're gonna make this while the noodles are cooking and store it in the fridge until we are ready to mix the noodles and the sauce together. Does it get like richer? Mm-hmm. Add in our gochujang. And in the sugar. I know a lot of sugar goes on here, but trust me, it just tastes better. Soy sauce. Vinegar. A dash of fish sauce. Fish sauce is like my special kick to this because it just gives it a little bit more oomph. <laughs> Finely ground red pepper. And the garlic. Give this a mix. So now I'm gonna store this away in the fridge and we're gonna boil our noodles. Now we're gonna add the noodles in. This is a two serving meal. When you come to noodles in your hand, it should be about the size of a quarter. I've actually been using fry pans to cook my noodles these days because I feel like it cooks more evenly and I just have to use less water on top of that. Pibinguksu is something that Grace and I had a lot and it was perfect for the summer days because it's just so easy to make. Koreans always have sesame oil at home, we have kimchi at home, we have gochujang at home at all times. This was something really simple that we can make in the summer and it's also refreshing. It's all done, so let's strain the noodles. And I have ice water prepared, so let's dunk the noodles in there. This part is crucial because there's a lot of starch in these noodles. So you want to wash all of it away so that it's just fresh and not sticking to each other kind of feel. So then I put those noodles back into the strainer so that it strains all that starch water away. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut up my kimchi into very small pieces. We're doing this the Korean way. In the summertime, we usually don't really have an appetite because it's just so hot. So this really gets you going because it's like sweet and salty and savory and all of that. So it just jump starts your appetite. I'm gonna mix the sauce, the kimchi, and the noodles all together in this bowl. And their kimchi. I really hate using my bare hands to mix noodles that have gochujang on it because my hands get red and it smells like garlic. So I'm using these gloves. I'm gonna thinly slice some cucumbers and perilla leaves because my dad grows perilla leaves in the backyard and it's just so fragrant. I love perilla leaves, especially if you guys are having K barbecue. You guys can't forget the perilla leaves. So we're just gonna use some of these as toppings and this is completely optional. So if you have lettuce at home, you can use that instead of the perilla leaves. <laughs> I'm 
Her lilies remind me of summer, like mm. the smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's cook some chador. And now let's get plating. Okay, I'm gonna make this look pretty. Remember I told you guys with plating, height is key. So that's why I have the noodles stacked up high. I'm gonna add some of the beef brisket on top. Add the perilla leaves all around the sides. Top it off with some cucumbers. Some sesame seeds. And drizzle the sesame oil around. I saved the sesame oil for last so that the fragrance is the strongest. Okay, I just ruined everything. Noodle. Bon appetit! Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I like the tador because it neutralizes the spiciness. How's the sauce? Do you like the sauce? Mm -hmm. It's like sweet and what is like it? Tangy. Yeah, yeah, tangy. And it's like really gonna have help your appetite get like a freaking jump start, like I said earlier. Oh, Grace is literally just picking up the bowl and eating the bowl. Oh. I'm not eating the bowl. <laughs> no, like eating the whole thing. So is it grace approved? Yeah, it's really good. Disclaimer, it is a little bit spicy, but it's so, so good. So please try it out and let us know if you guys liked it or not.